So hi everyone, I came here to Bangalore for Google I.O. Connect and um, it's been great uh, so far and I'm enjoying my day. And uh, I have Subram and Shen here. So first of all, thanks so much for your time and uh, the time that you spared from your busy schedule. Could you please quickly for our audience introduce you guys? So hi everyone, I'm Shen Goldberg and I'm VP and GM of Cloud Runtimes, which means that I'm responsible for everything Kubernetes and serverless within Google Cloud. And I am Subram Natarajan. I lead the customer engineer for Google Cloud in India. I take care of uh, our customer issues as well as providing the right value for uh, Google Cloud for our customers. Nice. So uh, I'll ask a few questions to both of you, and uh, it will be around AI that our audience will <laughs> definitely be interested in, especially your take on uh, those questions. So my first question would be. Uh, how will AI change the way developers work in the next 10 years? I think the first thing that is going to change that paradigm that every developer will become an AI developer. So if you want to create value, if you want to try some new things, you'll have to be familiar with those tools, and which actually is going to make you know, the job of a developer a bit harder. However, I think that we are also going to see with AI some new tools. You know, we're talking about a Gemini Code Assist, for example, that you know, it can help me complete my code lines, uh, help me do changes in, in place, do code reviews. So hopefully that will balance uh, between the two. Nice, nice, amazing. My second question would be around cloud. Uh, how can a beginner learn cloud uh, in general? Like, uh, can you give a beginner's perspective? Uh, somebody who doesn't know anything apart from coding, how can that person go into cloud? I think the magic about cloud is that we take care of the infrastructure and we, you know, if I'm a developer, all I want to do is write code in my IDE. So I would suggest, you know, if you're completely new, start with Firebase, maybe in your IDE with uh, our serverless solutions, you click on a button and it's deployed and scales uh, and we do all the hard work. Amazing, yeah, okay, nice. Uh, my next question uh, would be around uh, what is AI and I would say uh, a misconception that a lot of people have the uh, developers will lose job with the advent of tools like Vertex AI because everyone can now code and build scalable apps and even building complex machine learning apps is an easy task for everyone. What is your take on the statement that developers are going to see a decline in the number of jobs or their jobs will be hampered? What is your take on that? No, it's actually going to really help them. Uh, really push themselves to higher value functions. Uh, platforms like Vertex AI provides them the capability to do a lot of these mundane tasks in a much more efficient and consistent way. Uh, there is a workbench that Vertex AI provides which allows you to uh, progressively take a particular task from beginning all the way to the end. Let's say you take a model how do you take that model, fine tune it, and build it into an application, build it into an API endpoint. All of that is going to be possible. Yeah, I think that was an amazing thing. That was nice. Uh, you. My fourth question is around Gemma 2. We all know that Gemma 2 actually outperformed a lot of open source models. And it's been amazing. I mean, uh, people are building tons of open source apps using Gemma. My question is, what made Gemma 2 outperforms its open source other counterparts? Is it the data that Google has or is it the technique that Google used or something else? What made Gemma 2 do so well? Oh, it's a combination of everything. So as with every evolution in models, we continue to look for uh, you know, fine-tuning the architecture or even selecting a different architecture. As the evolution happens, the number of parameters we use architectures we choose allows ourselves to really learn from our existing uh, uh, models and the and the feedback that we are getting and then build on it to really become better and better. So Gemma 2 outperforming the, the rest of the ones in the uh, in the market is not surprising. It's a it's a way you know, how the models evolve. Got it, got it. Awesome. Thank you so much uh, Shen Subram for your time. I hope that you are enjoying your day here in Bangalore. Yeah. We are. It's we are. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much Thank you.